No four-man scramble here in Aberdeen. No, instead for the Harford Family House, home runs for the homeless. Companies from all over the area come in and bring together a team, have a little home run derby. And it's, you know, they get points not just for home runs. You get the ball to the outfield toward 10, 25, the warning track, and so forth. All about having some fun. The Harford Family House raises money for fa homeless families. And the key is, over the last eight years that they've been doing this, raised more than $110,000. That is more than 4,200 bed nights for local families. Otherwise, wouldn't have a roof over their heads. So very special indeed, this event. So the idea was, let's get the guys, how about if we give you a day at the ballpark and like a foursome, instead of golfing, you hit balls. And your team plays, we see how far you hit, we compete. But as many of these players are learning, getting out here and trying to relive the glory days of yonder, it's a little tougher than it looks from certainly what we saw in the home run derby, the all-star game. Now, getting it over that fence takes a little bit more. I came up here all confident, expecting to do good. You know, rough time. But a good time. Oh, yeah. I think there's something for everybody. I think you get some of that. The guys are like, wow, that's a lot faster than I thought. But you also have the guys that, that are like really enjoying it. They, they haven't hit in a long time. So they take, they say, oh, I'll just get 15. But then when they're done 15, they want 115 because they remember how much fun it was and it, it gets in their blood. Today's winner for the individual effort, Chris Tolliver, eight home runs, an impressive showing indeed, and it's pretty important and significant. He is a deputy with the Hartford County Sheriff's Department, and he will be getting the award then named for Mark Logston, one of the deputies killed earlier this year. So a very special evening still underway as I will MC the festivities. Very much looking forward to that. At Ripken Stadium, Pete Gilbert, WBAL, TV 11 Sports.